okay hey y'all um today's upload is really gonna be super simple and casual because i just wanted to provide um an update on my plant medicine journey uh i noticed that a number of people have actually started to watch my ayahuasca videos for rhythmia and not it's not that the information is necessarily outdated it's just that i've had uh more experiences since then and my perspective has changed and I, yeah, I guess I'll tell you about all of that uh, today because, you know, it's time to talk about drugs and stuff. Um, I don't, can I even say that? Can you just hop on YouTube and be like, we're going to talk about drugs and stuff. But yeah, so since, um, since then, since November of 2019, which was last year, I have also um, partaken in another ayahuasca ceremony. Um, but that time, following drinking the ayahuasca, I also... Was this the same night? I think it was the same night. I also pushed through with the changa, which is like a smokable form of DMT. Um, wait, pause. I feel like before I get too deep into it, it's very necessary to give these disclaimers. Uh, I do not advise partaking in any illegal activities, nor do I um, promote doing anything without proper supervision in, in a ceremonial setting and for personal and spiritual growth. So it's not me telling you to go do what i did it's just updating y'all on what's been going on in my life so okay boom back to the story so since then yeah i did uh the ayahuasca and changa for two different nights and i also have partaken in um a mushroom ceremony like a personal one at home and for that i the specific strand is called penis envy and um i how many grams of that i think it was like seven grams so <laughs> yeah i uh just i'll get to that in a second um so as far as like how i'm feeling about things now and the updates um going back and watching the rhythmia video it's definitely i definitely enjoy the experience of it but uh if i had to choose now like as i am today between the retreat experience and um, a more intimate setting or a personal experience I think I would choose um, the more personal experience and instead of like seeking a substance kind of just like manifesting that in your life because like when I yeah so for the um, retreat experience like I sought that trip out I at, at the point in time that I was in in the mindset that I was in it was very important for me to go to an established center and to a place I wanted to make a journey out of it so I was like okay I'm gonna go to Costa Rica this that and the third and I also one of my main intentions was to meet other people so um you're definitely going to be able to do that at a retreat center and I also um gained more skills that I can like apply in my life now and I learned more about integration and there was just more depth in-depth education about everything and I learned breath work while I was there so that experience um is definitely beneficial uh it was also costly <laughs> so since then um th now that I feel a lot more comfortable with plant medicines I've been kind of opting for the more intimate or like personal experience and um yeah i just feel like sometimes you have to go through things on your on your own um yeah you come into this world on your own you leave on your own and when it comes to healing um sure it's nice to have support and to do it in a huge room with a bunch of people that you're growing closer to and it's a bonding experience but it's just a different a completely different dynamic when you do it on your own and um in terms of like substances that i prefer uh, I used to think that, you know, okay, I'm going to go balls to the wall and I need the most potent thing that I can find. And so if it's up to me, I want to do DMT every time. And I don't know, I think I'm definitely um, becoming more of a mushroom person. Um, I like with the mushrooms that it to me it's easier to determine how much you're going to take and to control not not that it's about control but it's easier to control the type of trip that you're gonna have because you can you know weigh the mushrooms and and kind of like i don't know i just have a better understanding of like how many grams are gonna produce what effect um and also i mean i've never i'm sure you can microdose ayahuasca and stuff like that um but i feel like the mushroom experience having a big push through because i also microdose a little bit after and i don't know i just feel like it was a more 
you can um, tailor it to your needs more specifically. And I also feel like the energy of the mushroom is a little bit different. Um, Cause I personally think that these um, substances and plants have kind of like a energy or a spirit of their own. And I feel like the ayahuasca and the DMT, it just, it it's gonna show you what it's gonna show you. It's gonna push you through and, and it's, I don't know, I feel like with the mushrooms, they worked like with me a little bit more. I feel like we were like co-creating the experience, even though a lot of it was still just showing me what I needed to experience. <laughs> so um, yeah, that's kind of what I prefer substance wise. Also, let me just check my notes to make sure I'm like saying everything that I wanted to say. But yeah, so just like a brief overview of the mushroom experience. Um, so like the kind of person I am now, I'm just like, okay, if I'm going to do these things, it's, I'm going to do it when I feel the call or like manifest, um, the opportunity. So it started off as me kind of just like minding my business and kind of like, I don't know, it was just like bought up in conversation and there were a lot of synchronicities that, um, led me to the experience. And so I, for me, that's, I'm not gonna say it's more authentic, but it really lets me know that, okay, this is what you're supposed to be doing right now because you didn't even uh, kind of like seek it, it came to you. And there are times where I will like randomly, like nowadays I will, uh, I don't know if this is normal for anyone else, but I'll like randomly smell the mushroom smell or like taste it again. I don't know if it's like flashbacks or what, but I'm like, I don't know if it's like calling for me to work with it some more. Um, I will see how that goes because um, lately, I don't know, the energies have just been a little unstable. And so I kind of just feel like taking a chill pill, you feel me? But yeah, um, that experience to me, it, it was so when I took the seven grams, it was definitely like a rebirth. And um, <laughs> it really expedited my spiritual journey and everything that has happened since then like the synchronicities i feel like life sped up after that like it was just like okay we're taking the training wheels off and we're gonna start like as you integrate afterwards it's like okay we're gonna start speeding up the the lesson program we're gonna start getting things quicker and quicker because as you develop skills to be able to navigate through life there's no there's not as much of a need to take it. So it's like, once you get the hang of it, let's let's do it for real. So life has been picking up. Uh, I've been doing my best to kind of just like go with the flow. And it's been it's been good. Like I do want to say in general, all my experiences, it's been good. I'm in a good place. I'm going places. I um, am understanding my purpose and my calling a little bit better. Because I know that I'm supposed to eventually, um, I guess, I don't want to say become like a modern medicine woman but i'm definitely supposed to enter these healing spaces and it's just like okay you can think about it all you want but at some point you actually have to like take action and work with people so i'm <laughs> moving towards that point but yeah no that mushroom experience is definitely just like another rebirth and even when i went to microdose afterwards i only ate like three of the mushrooms and that sent me on a trip like i thought it was just going to increase my focus and you know my mood was going to be improved and but it was enough to like I really thought that I was about to go through a whole like 10 hours of tripping and I was like this is so interesting um so yeah I mean I'm definitely um open to doing a story time and just like going in depth about that but I feel like that should just be a whole separate video if I'm going to talk about like what happened uh from start to finish during the trip but um I'm going to leave you all with that and kind of close this video out but okay one thing I do want to know if anybody else experiences this when you do mushrooms do you and you start in a trip do you feel like there's an abundance of hands like when you need it I don't know if that makes sense but I would like there was a, a portion of the trip where I was like tossing and turning and going through discomfort and it just felt like some like I don't know I just felt like I had hella hands or like anytime I felt like I needed support they would like it felt like a hand would magically be there and I'd be like oh thank goodness like there was always something to comfort or like that stepped in i don't know how to explain it but it just felt like there was an abundance of hands so i don't know like what kinds of like um typical trip markers or signs do you all experience or you know i i, I think talking about this stuff is so fascinating so drop a comment below um 
just saying anything, uh, questions, comments, concerns, points that you relate to. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and make this update because I know representation is lacking and I know people be looking for, you know, the young people, the black women, you know, all of that to be making these videos. So here I am delivering. I love y'all. Light and love, wholeness, balanced vibrations, all of that.